I often get asked, Matt, what are your favorite parts of LA to live? You've toured a lot of them. And I'm like, wow, there's literally thousands of neighborhoods in LA to live. So narrowing it down is really, really tough. However, today I'm gonna narrow it down to my four favorite areas of Los Angeles to live. Just last week, I did a video on the seaside section of Torrance. I really, really love that neighborhood. It didn't make it into this video, but go check out that if you're looking to live near Torrance or the beaches or South Bay. It's a beautiful, beautiful neighborhood. But today, I am gonna talk about my four favorite neighborhoods. You might not agree, but this is my own personal preference. If you're looking to find out where to live in LA, come on, let's go find out, shall we? Okay, my first area neighborhood is Valmonte in the Palace Verdes estate section. South Bay, southwest of LA. It's close to the beaches. It's close to Hermosa Beach, Manhattan Beach, Torrance. And I really, really love it. And I'll tell you why. Really great family neighborhood, community, excellent schools, probably some of the best crime rates in the whole of LA. And whether you're looking to raise a young family, you've got teenagers, or you're wanting to buy a bigger house with some more land, or you're looking to retire, Valmonte in Palos Verde Estates has you all covered, if you ask me. There's around 1,100 homes in this neighborhood, ranging from about 1,400 square foot all the way up to 4,000. Really, to get into this neighborhood, you need a budget of $2.5 million plus. However, there are some fixes if you're looking to do work for around one seven, one point eight million. What I love about this neighborhood is you're kind of out of the rat race. It's a slower pace of life. It's more peaceful, tranquil. However, you want to get up into the city. There's freeways. It's not difficult. You're only about 10 minutes from Hollywood Riviera, Redondo Beach, where you've got all the trendy restaurants and bars, walkability. They close down the streets during Halloween for the kids. It's really, really great. Like I said, family friendly. I really think this neighborhood is your forever home. If you're looking to move somewhere, you're gonna be there for the rest of your life or at least until your kids go to college or move out, you've gotta check out Valmonte. The curb appeal of the homes is great. It's not very busy. People don't really drive through there to get anywhere. So if you've got kids playing on their bikes or basketball in the streets, it's pretty safe. It's great for your dogs. If you've got dogs, they are gonna love you. All the trails, the equestrian trails, if you wanna teach your kids horse riding or if they just love horses. I'm Matt Tilly, the British bloke. I'm a local realtor. And if you are looking to make a move to LA in the next nine days or the next nine months, give me a call. You can never start too early. I made the move from London back in 2008. I know what it's like to make a scary move, the trepidation. Are you gonna miss your family and friends? What is it like to make a huge move to another state? Give me a call. I love helping people from my YouTube channel and I hope to hear from you and I hope to see you at my next video. And there's some really cool looking homes. You go to some areas of say Hermosa, uh, up in LA right now, or they're knocking down all these homes. They're building these huge white mega homes. And yes, they're lovely, don't get me wrong, but they're very samey, if that's even a word. What I love about Valmonte, the homes have a lot of character. They all look different. So if you're looking to build some roots, a foundation for your family, you wanna be in a family orientated neighborhood that is safe with great schools close to the city, gotta check out Palos Verde Estates Valmonte section. You're gonna love it, trust me. All right, let's head up to the Pacific Palisades. We're going north right now and we're heading to the Alphabet Streets. That's the specific neighborhood in Pacific Palisades that I'm gonna talk about right now. I absolutely love it. It's one of the cheaper <laughs> locations in Pacific Palisades. You need about $4 million to buy in. Sounds like a lot of money, but guess what? It might be worth it and here's why. It's nestled right between Brentwood and Santa Monica, really cool places as well to visit. You're right by them. Population 24,000, so it's very small. And it's close to Beverly Hills, Santa Monica, Hollywood. So if you work in these locations, it's really, really close. You're not gonna have a long commute. It has a great village, and if you live in the Alphabet streets, it's basically walking distance, which I think is hugely advantageous. Walk to get your co coffee, walk to get your lunch. The location of the Alphabet streets within Pacific Palisades, when it's one of the lowest priced neighborhoods, is excellent. 
And if you ask me, a little bit like Belmonte that we just spoke about, it doesn't really feel like LA. You're very, very close to LA now and um, the hustle and bustle, but you're still out of it. It's still quiet and peaceful. I love the homes. They're very quaint. Lots of different architectures. So that whatever your needs are, it's going to have them covered. Now, the streets are a little bit narrower than Valmonte. That's just the way it is. And you're close to the ocean. You're close to Penga Canyon Parks for all the trails and the hiking and the walking for you to take advantage of the beautiful sunny days pretty much all year round. The schools, excellent. People are fighting to get into this neighborhood because of the schools. The crime levels as well, very, very low. Personally, I think Pacific Palisades is more trendy and highbrow than Brentwood. Just my personal opinion. And I think you're absolutely going to love it. So if you have a budget north of four million, you want to be close to um, the rat race where people are working, Beverly Hills, Santa Monica, Hollywood. You're in the business, for example, the entertainment business. Check out Pacific Palisades. You're not going to be disappointed. OK, let's head just down the street to Westwood nestled between Beverly Hills and Brentwood. But the specific neighborhood I'm gonna talk about today in Westwood is called Little Holmby. The location is great if you do work in Beverly Hills, Santa Monica, Hollywood. Numerous, numerous websites say Westwood is the best place to live in the whole of Los Angeles. And this is one of those neighborhoods when you walk through it, when you watch movies and you see these picturesque uh, neighborhoods and you're like this isn't real life this is only happening because it's in the movies nothing looks this good guess what little Holmby is like that the tree-lined streets the curb appeal permit parking so it's not busy and the homes the homes are idyllic there's not all these new builds like in Manhattan Beach or other parts of LA for example so all the homes have their own character they're very very large homes 4,000 square foot plus Huge lots, 10,000 square foot lo uh, lots. Now, you can get in, buy in for around about 2.8 million for a fixer, but really you're gonna probably need north of 4.5, 5 million dollars to buy into this community, but it is absolutely unbelievable. Also, if you have teenagers, they're like, what are we gonna do at the weekend? You're close to the beaches, you're close to Hollywood, and you're close to Century City Plaza. Wow, what a shopping center. It's so trendy, it's so clean. It's kind of futuristic, to be honest. The restaurants, the bars, the shopping, it's just a place to hang out as well. So yeah, you've got some kids, you don't want them to get bored. Westwood is such a great location. Obviously, it's a university college town, so there's plenty of things to do. The walkability is great. And little Holmby, this little neighborhood in Westwood, absolutely beautiful. All right, and now this fourth choice might shock you. You might be like, Matt, what are you talking about? But guess what? My fourth neighborhood right now for this video, I'm going Naples in Long Beach. I can hear you right now. Matt, what? Long Beach? Out of the whole of LA, you're choosing an area of Long Beach? Well, before you turn off, you've got to check out this area. It's right on the water. You've got trendy Second Street right there. You've got Second and PCA Shopping Center all these nice little boutique stores, places for the kids to hang out. You've got homes with boat docks and it's really, really tranquil and really, really affordable compared to other beach towns. So bear with me for a few minutes and let me talk about Naples in Long Beach. So Naples Island in Long Beach nestled right slap in between Huntington Beach, Palace Verde, you've got Torrance pretty close by and it's not that far to get into Los Angeles. But what I love about this area it's the cheapest beach town, if you ask me, in the whole of Orange County, the whole of LA. You can get these beautiful homes on the water for about $3 million. Up in South Bay, you're looking at double that at least. And you can get very close to the water, just a few blocks for about $2.5 million. The homes are great. They come with boat docks. You're walking distance to a couple of trendy bars. You're extremely close to Catalina Island, which is a must. If you haven't been to Catalina Island, you want to journey back in time. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, the boats, the ferries go from Long Beach. Also, there's a helicopter from Long Beach. You can be there in 12 minutes if you want to take a helicopter for about $169. So you must check out Catalina Island. But yeah, Naples in Long Beach. It is so relaxing and tranquil. You can walk around the canals. Your dogs are going to love it. Your kids at Christmas, all these houses are lit up. It's absolutely beautiful walking around. It's so festive. 
Like I said, you've got numerous beaches in Long Beach right by you as well. And if you want to own a boat and you don't want to break the bank, check out Naples in Long Beach. I absolutely love it. And I think you will too. I'm Matt Tilly, the British bloke. I'm a local realtor. And if you are looking to make a move to LA in the next nine days or the next nine months, give me a call. You can never start too early. I made the move from London back in 2008. I know what it's like to make a scary move, the trepidation. Are you going to miss your family and friends? What is it like to make a huge move to another state? Give me a call. I love helping people from my YouTube channel and I hope to hear from you and I hope to see you at my next video.